Did you... How is there this much blood in the radiography center? Like, how does that even happen? It's just an x-ray. Did, did you... Did you amp it up so much that the person inside just blew up or what? Excuse me. What is going on, everybody? Welcome back to... Hospitalize. I'm your host, Dr. Falcon. You're here at the 69th Nest. As you can see right now, if you caught the last episode, I added two more rooms over here, and I did that because I wanted to kind of alleviate the congestion of um, people waiting around, so I added one more um, laboratory room for blood analysis and all that stuff, and we also have an extra examination room as well. I believe the doctors are just fine, but as you can see now, the hospital's kind of evened out a little bit, right? There's no weird little jutting corners and stuff like that. Well, I mean, there's this over here, but that's fine. That's just kind of like architecture right now. So today's episode, I think I want to focus on the X-ray. Now, I believe we barely have enough money for the X-ray machine. If we come over here to medical, let's see, we have... Uh, where's this at? I think we need the X-ray scanner for the X-ray room. That would make sense, right? X-ray scanner, X-ray room. Nothing gets by you, Falcon. So, 23,000, we're at 30,000, so that's gonna be really expensive. But, you know, it's one of the tasks imaginable that we have to do. Plus, I believe if we get this done... How much money do we get for this? Now, that's that's the really super expensive one. That one requires 85,000. I think we need a mission, right? Yeah, so we get, we only get $825 for that. Dude, come on, it's like a really expensive machine. Now, gonna help me out, Vice President? Fine, hold on. Let's see, we have some help in Japan here. $1,000 for a doctor to be gone for three hours. Eh, you know what, it'll have to do. Let's send Nathan Stewart. One of my birds is getting killed outside right now. They're fighting each other right now. I can hear that guy just going, chunk, 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 chunk. it's very annoying. Very annoying, I would go out there and fight him myself, but I'm busy recording right now. Another doctor for eight hours. Uh, that's gonna have to wait. That's gonna have to wait. What about you here? Lack nurses. You need a nurse for five hours, three thousand. That's pretty good. Let's send radiographer. You're gonna probably be needed soon. Let's send the one that only does nursing. So we'll send Mia Richardson, who's becoming a really good nurse, just because I keep sending her out to do all these random stuff. There you go. Okay. So this will get done in time. We're at thirty thousand right now. Let's start working about or start thinking about this radiography center. Or whatever it is, x-ray room, whatever. Um, so what does that require first and foremost? Let's go over to... Radiography x-ray. 4 by 64, so it doesn't necessarily have to be too big. As a matter of fact, it could actually be the size of a restroom, so 3 by 3 will be enough. Um, okay. But we're not gonna go 3 by 3, we'll probably go this here. I don't think I wanna have... Well, I mean, if we get the money for it eventually, we'll have a couple of radiography centers. They're not, they're not radiography centers, they're, they're... Well, actually, they are, but the x-ray variety. X-ray rooms. We'll have them down over here because I'm thinking that what I want to do this is maybe the X-ray rooms here And then beyond this hallway here we will have the the surgery at some point point. and then it's back here behind the doctor's office We could have like maybe the staff room because I, I want to build a staff room as well for my people to chill at as well uh, So we could do that down this way. So for now, let's actually build down this way for the X-ray machine. So let's do Um and we could just match it up to the size of this over here. I don't want to have like a really small x-ray room. I mean, it's an x-ray room. It's going to be have... Well, actually, now that I think about it, that's going to be a, what, 4 by 3 really? Oh, uh, oh, oh, oh. It's actually kind of small when you think about it, huh? That's what she said. hi yo. Ha, <laughs> ha. Um, let's see. It should work, though, right? It should. We'll see how it works out. You know, I'm, I'm a bit low on money, so let's not get too crazy about the the state of how big this goddamn building's gonna be, or the room's gonna be, right? Um, we're also, for that one, though, I think we want to use electronic doors. It seems feasible, you know, electronic door for the x-ray room, where a bunch of x-rays are happening. Definitely need a electronic door, I would say. Um, let's see. And then we'll do... What else do we need in here, though? X-ray scanner, desk, and office chair. Of course you need a desk. At all times, you always need a desk every single time. Uh, let's see... What am I looking for? Furniture? Yeah. So... Well, let's put the important one first, the X-ray. I want to see how much room that takes up, if we can. So, X-ray scanner? Oh my goodness, God! That's a huge monster! Oh my God! That is ginormous, baby! Um... <laughs> I know, giggity giggity, there's another joke in there too, but... I'll let you guys take care of that one. Uh, can, can I rotate this monster? Oh, you can rotate this one! Oh, that's that's unfortunate. Unless it's like, the room's too small to rotate it? No? Okay, well whatever, it doesn't let me rotate it. So I guess we could put it right over here, it does seem. So we'll place it there, and then we'll do... Man, it's gonna be really compact in here, huh? Good god, that monster takes up a lot of room. So that's fine, we could have the, the desk facing that way. 
Because the person that comes in here doesn't have to sit down. It's only for the doctor. This actually works out pretty good now that I think about it. I like this. Yeah. That's not bad at all. That ain't bad at all. Now, um, as always, let's go ahead and put a little, you know, scheduling board there for the fella. That's fine. Okay. And there you go. So, we have our radiography x-ray room, finally. Let's go over here and assign it and get our paltry $825 reward. But that's fine. At least now with radiography, we'll be able to jack up the prices we want, so... That's perfectly cool. Uh, speaking of prices, I haven't really gone into that on the videos because, you know, it's a lot of micromanaging. But off-camera, I normally will sometimes go over here and check out my bank account and stuff like that and see what's what. At the moment, we have like 16 patients, but we could hold up to 20. Um, I could also control the amount of patients in, their, in our building as well. I feel like there's too many of them and they're kind of getting really upset. I could lower the number. Right now, our reputation is pretty good. I haven't got any angry emails about, Hey! Too many people are waiting! And in procedure policy, we could actually make it safe, normal, and hurry. So we, I can speed up the process that it takes us to go through people. But, you know, right now it isn't really bothering me. So, you know, unless we get, like, a lot of, like, congestion, then we'll worry about it. Right now, I think it's fine. Doctor, can you please stop, you know, getting shit out of the vending machine? Go attend to some patients, please. It's like, no, no. Why don't you build me a staff room? It's like, okay. You got me there, buddy. You got me there. So, let's go ahead and accept the, or tell him that we finished this one mission. There it is. It's done. $825. Oh, boy. Please? What please? Elias Mitch, who's this? Could you start doing your job? Everyone I met was just standing around waiting. The fuck are you talking about? Who's Elias Mitchell? Who's Elias Mitchell? Are you here in the hospital right now? You better not be. Everybody's just waiting around, standing. How about you? How about you shut up, huh? How about that? How about you just quiet it down? Please look, there it is now that we have Tyler Bailey. So, we are getting some congestion now. We absolutely are. So here's where we could kind of lower the amount of patients in the in the office coming in. We're up to 14,000 already, that's pretty good. Uh, lack of nurses is complete. Help in Brazil! Brazil needs help. Five doctors, a lot of people wounded apparently. Alright Brazil, I'm gonna send you my best guy. Which isn't really my best guy, he's the guy that I'm gonna assign here. He's the first guy I saw, so there you go. And that's about it. So next thing's gonna be radiography center, right? Okay. Radiography. Let's take a look at our patients here waiting around. I want to see how if this whole complaints are really worthy. I guess they kind of are, huh? There are a couple of people here. But the thing is they're, they're kind of rotating in and out, you know? They, they sometimes go in to get some blood analysis and they come back out and they have to wait for a physical examination. Come back out again and they have to wait for another, like, you know, consultation. So, you know, it's, it's, a, it's an ongoing process when you go to the hospital. You know, you can't go in there in a rush, you know? It's your health. You're going to rush your health. Look, you can actually see the water running in that sink. That's pretty cool. <laughs> Never noticed that before. Are you guys using different toilets, by the way? Like, you know, females and males? I doubt it. They're all just going wherever they want. Cleaner lady. We, we, apparently somebody murdered a, a bush over here. Or a <laughs> Somebody just murdered a plant. Look at this. Leaves and blood. There's a bunch of evidence. There's a bunch of, like, you know, trace evidence around. We have, like, you know, thumbprints and, you know, all sorts of thing here. Where's my cleaners at? Look, this guy over here soiled himself, too. Where are my cleaners at? Hey, what are you standing around for? Gabriella, don't you? Cleaning a room? I don't see you. Oh, you're cleaning the, the footprints. It's about time we hired more workers, I think, like cleaners. Uh, I haven't hired them at all, so let's see how much. How many do we have here? Applicant. Um, how many do we have? Employee. We're looking for cleaners. We only have three of them? Yeah. It's a really big area now, especially because we keep expanding. So let's do applicant. Um, I'm just looking for somebody that's really cheap here, so I'm gonna go with Kendall Cox. I don't think you have to have good discipline or social to clean up messes, so we'll go with her, and we'll go with Paige Butler as well. Okay, two extra cleaners right here. She'll be showing up. There they are! Okay, did we take care of the murder? Can somebody please take care of the murder scene, please? We're, we're established, you know, business here. I don't want people thinking that, you know, we, we just don't do anything. Look, please somebody take care of the murder! Where are they at? Don't worry about the hallways, come down here. Forget about the hallways. There, there, we have one of them cleaning up the evidence. There you go, great. Okay, murder's now been taken care of. Let's see here. New mission. Help in Indonesia. Did we never do that one? Oh, the doctor for eight hours. Yeah, but I'm helping Brazil, so I'll have to get back to you, Indonesia. New mission, what do we have? Radiography CT. Isn't that the same one as over here? Yeah, dude, it's not a new mission. It's the same one. Okay, and, and I know it's going to cost me an arm and a leg. I got to wait. I need 85,000 for that, I believe. Hey, look! X-ray dude! Oh, we can't see him! The X-ray's blocking him, but he's in there. I can see his little legs. 
I can see his little legs right there. Oh my god, we, we actually saw the the x-ray too. That's pretty gnarly. I like that. That right there is going to cost you an arm and a leg, buddy. You better have some really good medical insurance for that one. <laughs> Let me tell you. Oh, look at that. They're going in and out. Yes. This is how you make the big bucks now. I kind of want to get a second one. If we get up to like 23000 or whatever how much it costs, a second one would be nice. It would just jack up the prices coming in pretty soon. I would imagine so. Alrighty. Let's start going over the, the staff room. I know I'm trying to save up money for the MRI radiography, but I do want to have a place for my people to chill. So for the staff room, what do we need here? I'm curious now. Um, we got... Uh, bu -bu 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 excuse me. Where's the staff? Here it is. A chair. Just a place for them to come and sit down, huh? When there's something to do? Okay. Well, that's the case. Oh, we finished up helping Brazil. Excellent. So, let's go ahead and help Indonesia out now. Assign... Nathan. Nathan. Accepted. Send him off. Okay. And the missions that are waiting are the radiography, which we know. Cool. So everything right now has been taken care of. There you go. That's enough. It's a small little staff room for them anyway. So we just need chairs in here. Furniture. Chairs. And let's see. I like a chair over here. I wish we could get them like sofas or something. They should add sofas to this game. There you go. We have a lot of people working, so uh have like this many chairs. Are, are you facing... <laughs> are you facing the wall? No, you're not facing the wall, are you? You are facing the wall. Okay, hey. Store that one and store that one. They're, they're facing the wrong direction, people. <laughs> I don't want to punish them. You've been a bad nurse or doctor. Face the wall. Okay. Boom. Boom. There it is. Okay. And, and let's also give you, like, something to feel nice. I mean, look at the time. How much time before you have to get back to work. And, and you know, let's give you guys also not a flower bed. That wouldn't make any sense. But let's give you a plan. You know, a little bit of decor in here. You know, you walk in. You want some fresh greenery. I know it's going to be, like, more things for my... Cleaners to clean, but that's fine. You know, the I don't want to necessarily. Oh, you know what? Maybe a vending machine then too. You know, they come in here, they want a snack. They don't want to go out here because they'll be, you know, assaulted by the customers and the patients. So let's give. Oh, it's gonna cost me money though, isn't it? It is. Oh, three thousand for the vending machine. Good God Almighty. Um. You know what? Let's take care of. Oh, fine. Take care of this plant, and we'll place it right over here. Oh, right over here. And store this chair for now. I kind of want to set up the, the coffee machine for them, too. You know, we have the coffee outside for the guests, but that's the bad coffee, you know? For the doctors, we need the good stuff in here. So outside, we're probably serving, like, Folgers or something. I know, no offense if you're a Folgers fan, you know, that's fine. But, um, you know, here we got, like, you know, I don't know, Seattle's Best or something. And outside, we have, like, the instant coffee. There you go. All right. Look. We have a nurse in here already, like, is this a future staff room? Oh, thank God, finally. And we'll assign it now to... staff room. Bam! Okay, there you go. And you know what? I, I want to make sure that nobody comes into the staff room other than my people. So, staff room restrictions. That means everybody can come in here, right? So the only people restricted from the staff room will be... Uh... Patients? And the, the cleaners have to come in here, obviously, to do their thing. If you're wondering about porters, um, it's a class. I'm not really sure what they do yet. I'm not sure if it's completely implemented or not. I'll mess around with it later, but it's apparently a male-looking nurse, and I, I don't know what they do yet. I think I read in the Steam forums that they're not implemented, but I don't know. Well, I'll, I'll check them out later and show you exactly what that is. So there you go. Is this lady stuck here, or is she just like, you know, you're cleaning the room. Good. Okay, I thought you were trying to dodge work or something. Like It's kind of like, you know, nobody will find me in here. <laughs> Nobody's resting right now. Okay, that's a lot of people sitting down and waiting there. This time I will agree with you guys. That's a lot. You know what it could be, though? We have to kind of leave. Yeah, you see that 23 patients? That's too much right now. So I'm going to say we bring her on down to like maybe 18, and we'll see if that helps us with the congestion. Because, you know, even though we have less people paying less money, you saw how we got a bad opinion right now? You saw that with negative rep? That's because somebody waited too long. So... It doesn't matter if a lot of people here giving us money if my opinion keeps dropping, although my reputation's pretty good, but... Let's lower it down for a while, and we'll see if we could kind of like have only like maybe two heads here waiting at a time. That would be the ideal number. Okay. So, what is this? Help in Indonesia? Uh, th yeah, that's done already. Help in Norway? That's gonna be another doctor. We could assign that one for now. We'll send... Nathan Stewart. Nath Nathan Stewart, please? Nathan Stewart! They didn't want to go. Well, what do you have against Norway, Nathan Stewart? No, I don't want to go. Don't make me go to Norway, Falcon. Okay, so that's done. Great. Did you... 
How is there this much blood in the radiography center? Like, how does that even happen? It's just an x-ray. Did, did you did you amp it up so much that the person inside just blew up or what? Excuse me. This one's like very, you know, look, Gabriela Hill, I'm sorry to say, but you gotta be fired now. Okay? Get, get on out of here. Get, get out of here, okay? You're not cleaning. Then you know what happens when you don't clean in Falcon's uh, a hospital? You know what happens? You just made the list. The fired list. You too. Brooke Moore, get on out of here. Okay, you don't want to work, you don't want to clean, get on out of here. I ain't got time for that, okay? You take your ass, yeah, you get on that bus and you get on out of here, okay? So that means we need two new cleaners here because the ones that I had were, were terrible. Applicants cleaners. Okay, so we have... Go for the cheapest one. Maybe that's the reason why she wasn't cleaning, huh? I bought the cheap ones and they were like, yeah. You get what you pay for, buddy. Okay, there you go. Two replacements right there. Now, uh, maybe they were just tired with their job, you know? See, these came in instantly started cleaning. Now, that's what I want to see. That go-getter attitude. They got the leaves and everything very good. Look at my, um, waiting room, by the way. It's looking a lot less congested, isn't it? I mean, they're showing up now, but that's because they just got out of their consultation and stuff like that. I'm not seeing any negative reputation. I'm just seeing a bunch of positives now. Very good. Okay. I'm liking that a lot. So we're at 65,000 now. How about, before we go in and do the radiography for MRIs, how about we do another one of these um, x-ray ones? Because I, you know what? I feel like these are giving me a lot of money right now. Money's been going up really, really fast since we got this up and running. So we have six, right? So we'll do... That right there, okay. And we gotta wait for people to show up here. We have an extra door. Oh yeah, we're using electronic doors for that one though. So electronic door here. And let's see, let's see. Medical. Big ass x-ray machine right over here. I really wish you could rotate this one, but you can't. It sucks. Um, yeah, I guess we'll have to place it here. Cause we're very low on space because of the small room. And then we'll do furniture, desk up against the wall, and office chair. Like that. Okay. And yeah, sure, I'll give you your your board. I'm gonna put this one in front of the desk, though. There you go, how do you like that? I'll even give this guy a calendar. Okay, fine, you get a calendar too, okay? I don't wanna differentiate and give people special preferences here. So that's fine, let's go over here and now assign usage. So you are gonna be radiography. Yeah, buddy. Okay, so now we have two of them. More money should be coming in now, a lot faster now. Look at that. The moment I put it open, somebody's in here already. And we do have a couple of nurses that actually excel at radiography, so that helps us out quite a bit. Alrighty. So now the money should be start pouring in. Oh, negative opinion again. Damn. I gotta really, like, monitor the right number. Because it feels like there's less people in the waiting room now, aren't they? I mean, they're at least waiting around for the next round of whatever they're doing. We're getting more positive than negative, though. At least there is that. And my cleaners are actually cleaning now more often, too, which is great. Yeah, you have to fire the bad apples. There was a couple of apples just ruining the entire batch. You gotta get rid of them. Sorry to say. Um, I'm hoping you had a good 401k plan, but let's be real here. You're a cleaner. I, I really doubt it, unless we, we offer that sort of benefit here to people, but I really doubt it. I'm, I'm a cheap dude. I'm a very poor person, so I don't I wouldn't offer that in-game. I'm sorry to say. People don't offer me that at work, so, you know, what can I say for myself here? Don't just say, don't be standing around here. You know what happens, Allison, when people just stand around Falcon's um, hospital. You know what happens. Okay, you're a radiographer. Go, go radiography some asses over here, huh? There you go. Yeah, go back in there. Go pull somebody. Okay. 51,000. Let's see what we have here. Complete. Delete. Help in Italy, lack of nurses. Okay, so we're getting no emails about angry people now, so that's good. Help in India. Well, what is this one? This one is a doctor. That'll probably get some people angry. Sending my doctors away, that's fine though. Social and surgery. So we're looking for somebody that could benefit from surgery. Let's go ahead and up Lopez Henry a little teeny tiny bit. Lack of nurses, two hours, that's actually very, very easy. Okay. And the thing is like, I don't wanna build because I wanna get up to the 85,000 for the CT scanner. That's the reason why you don't see me building right now, because if I build, I'm just using up money for that. So I kind of have to wait here a little bit. But are we, are we almost out of time? I think we're almost out of time. Alright guys, I'm going to wrap it up here. I'm going to grind the rest of the 85,000 in my off time. And then we'll come back next episode and we'll set up the CT scanner. Although, you know what? This is my second video today. I think you guys are enjoying it, but I'm not really too sure. Let me know in the comments and by leaving a like if you're enjoying it. And I'll do another episode and keep going forward. Or if, you know, if you guys really aren't enjoying it too much, I can just stop here. So... If we do another video, we keep going forward, I'll do the CT scanner room next time around. 
Um, so let me know if you're enjoying it or not, and that's well, I'll make a decision that way, I guess. That makes good. Sounds good. Makes good. Sounds good. Makes good. I don't even know what makes good does or is. Oh, I've had a long day. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying it though, and if you are, let me know. I will catch you next time.